Ladies and gentlemen, this will be the first ever prize giving speech that I have recorded after prize giving and with some of the staff left over from the staff party. <laughs> it's fitting this year that we're facing disruption, the possible earlier rude interruption of formation jets that will swoop, that will climb, but possibly now at an earlier time. So with anything possible, sky must be scanned. And when arrows come, we will make it look planned. And making the best is a great ballad must. The pandemic taught us to tweak and adjust. And it's part of the magic of spiralling growth. You want change and perfection, but you just can't have both. And we've always taught children that to take off the brakes, they must wrestle discomfort. They must live with mistakes. And it's funny to think of events since September, because sometimes mistakes are the bits we remember. Of all the fun dog walks through Daffs and through Clover, we remember the one where the teacher fell over. The story of Hamilton show slowly may wane, but we won't forget Johnson missing the train. <laughs> and she wasn't the only one feeling disgrace as Duffield embarrassed himself on the chase. We lost heating in winter, so please tell us why the boiler ran sweltering hot in July. <laughs> Those bathroom floods were both wild and torrential and highlights of the Year 6 residential. <laughs> Pre-prep sports was a day of such glorious highs, till the wrong house walked off with the glittering prize. <laughs> and the highlight again of our new D of E, was to see just how lost all our year groups could be. <laughs> You'll remember from last year the trials of year 10, so you won't be surprised that they got lost again. <laughs> and the one consolation, lest they moan or they whine, is that they're not alone, because so did year nine. <laughs> but not all who wander are truly lost. The best paths are often the crisp and the crossed, and dealing with fear and with crisis and jeopardy is what shakes a story from boredom and lethargy. And behind me, Great Ballard has a tale of its own. In 99 years, it's evolved, it has grown. It has moved through four sites, gone from boarding to day, from boys to a co-educational way, up from 85 students to 120, then from 170 to 200 and plenty. It's had lows, it's had highs, like all stories do. But persist and adapt, and you'll always pull through. For the great Ballard family, this glorious estate, a centenary year to celebrate. But before looking forwards, there's a year to review. From mid-23 back to late 22. So to those on the terrace, to those on the bank, from those in the middle to those on the flank, from owners to ore, to those here in front of me, we ask before telling, are you sitting comfortably? Then our story can begin. And what better place to take our first step than the hustling, bustling heart of pre-prep, where their hair drying chocolate with sweet, sticky splattering, plank walking pirates with cutlasses clattering. They're digging out holes that grow bigger each day and staging a magic nativity play. There's trips to the dockyard and West Wittering and a fine coronation of GB's own king. And we love to play heroes in capes, tights and pants. And we've got our own Superman, Samuel Bizanz. From tiny tots now through to big year 11s, GB is unique. Outdoors is our heaven. There's map and go and L2L, gardening, biking, deer as well. There's dens and whittling, fencing and thatching, zip lines and kitchens and fires sooner catching. Resilience, brilliant survival skills with Captain Adventure, our own Bear grills. <laughs> Juniors camp out, seniors trek. Who needs Twitter? Who needs Trek Tech? Stoves and tents, no snow this year. Heavy backpacks, too much gear. Please cuppa soups and energy bars, not pasta sauce in glassy jars. <laughs> our trip to France stayed on the rails with rando carts and feast of snails. And to help our teens wake bright and breezy, refreshing blasts of ACDC. <laughs> While we learn about mercy and forgiveness, we're ruthless in pursuit of business. CV, career and interview, profit, loss and revenue. 
Online markets, eggs and jams, skills for life, not just exams. And parents helping, all unpaid. And it's not the only thing you aid. From ground force days to GLTs, from Fogby fun to Christmas trees, winter markets, summer fair, it all means more with you lot there. When it comes to great poetry, year 10 are on it. Just listen to this inspiring sonnet. Love is like a bowl of Cheerios. It isn't Shakespeare, but hey, here goes. It's lovely at first, but it becomes less appealing as it loses its crunch and the milk starts congealing. <laughs> in science, there's ooze and zoos and stem, beasts in bio, bangs in chem, and a teacher sulks with hands in pocket when somebody brings in a much bigger rocket. <laughs> From inspector calls to famous five, dramas abuzz with action live. From lambda results that beam and bewilder to the crowning glory of our own Matilda, a show that pulsates with flourish and throb and even repels the Bulgarian mob. And we swept the board with a top banana at the Worthing Festival of Speech and Drama. A new head of music with no grasp of small. We filled out the drawing room, we filled out the hall, we filled the cathedral, we filled out our church. <laughs> so many highlights you don't need to search. From Christmas choirs to summer jazz, house singing with panache pizzazz. And it wouldn't be fair, it would feel quite disloyal to go without mentioning once in royal. GB Sport is on the up, IAPs and galas and Gothia Cup, hardball cricket and pre-dawn swimming, relay runners records trimming. And the prize for singing on the bus stays with the girls. It was ever thus. But for effort and decibels, almighty noise, we have to commend the Year 7 boys. <laughs> At prize givings too, we must say our goodbyes. For the great Mrs Thomas, there'll be no dry eyes. When schools drift and yaw, when they stray and they judder, they need someone like Mrs T at the rudder. To Chairman Wilson and Ellis and Al, a thank you preceding your final day bow. And Fogby is losing its best ever chair, her success written large in her last summer fair. For Queen Liz and the shrew in reception, a funeral. The measure of life, so much more than a numeral. Now there isn't a head who doesn't take pleasure from discussing the joys of the English weather. The coldest December, the hottest June, sports day washed out by a sweeping monsoon, winds that shook windows and walls, trees and hedging, and a morning of snowballs and snowmen and sledging. And Christmas came quickly, with tinsel and gold, and that night round the tree was exceedingly cold. The saxophone froze and our Anderson shivered, but the magic of Christmas was truly delivered with Frosty the Snowman on acoustic guitar and the Grinch playing drums by the light of the star. <laughs> but who wants a journey that always runs straight? The best straw is twist and they curve and gyrate. When you're lost on a path that is bumpy and turning, you may find it tough, but you'll always be learning. And if you reflect on the tale we have told, you'll realise its ending is yours to unfold. We can talk about buildings and numbers and glories, but a school is no more than its children's own stories. The girl who sings solo first time in forever. The drummer who plays when he said he would never. The young man who dances away from tormentors. The children so proud to be geeks and inventors. The ones who camped who said they couldn't. The ones who walked when they said that they wouldn't. The girl whose triumph we quietly gauge by just getting up there, two feet on the stage. The muddy-kneed goalie who now wants to do art. The invisible student who learns they are smart. The voice that grows louder when once it was silent. The stillness that swallows the cruel and the violent. The victim, the bullied, the school refuser. The girl who hangs back thinking no one will choose her. The student who learns that the way to recover is just to put one foot in front of the other. And I guess if we get to the end of this speech, without storm, without gale, without red arrow screech, 
Without slipping and falling or losing your place, a deer bites your rear or a wasp stings your face. Without Bulgarian mafia destroying the stage or bird poo on bottom or dog eats the page. Without imploding, exploding, eroding, choking, trouser rip, pistol whip, deputy croaking, we'd think it a measure of poison success if we got to the end without hazard or stress. But that's not the speech that you want to see. You want struggle, discomfort and peril for me. You want freeze and boil and hail and squall and to see just how boldly I coped with them all. And if that is the story your hoping's in store, better luck in 2024. <laughs>